Now let's learn how to use the voltmeter function of NIMIDAC. As we're getting started here, please pay attention to this uh, printed indicator for maximum voltage. Do not exceed the values of 60 volts DC and 20 volts RMS. All right, I have MIDAC set up to look like a voltmeter and we'll be considering the voltage across a couple of these batteries. When we start, we can specify the range and it defaults to 60 volts for the full scale reading first. Other choices are indicated here all the way down to 200 millivolts. You can also use auto range setting. and In that case, you can have the the voltmeter search for the appropriate range. You get an indicator about uh, which DMM terminals to be using. And again, I've got this set up as a voltmeter. And just to get started, I'll touch the probes together and we expect to see zero volts when you do that. I'll start with the 9 volt battery. It has an indicator about the positive terminal. Let me probe that with the black DMM probe first and we get a measured value of minus 9.5 volts. Now if I reverse the polarity of the battery such that the red terminal or red probe is probing the positive terminal then we get a reading of positive 9.5 volts. So voltage has both a value and a polarity. Now if I use the 20 volt range, we get a little bit more accuracy, 9.45 volts. However, if I use a range that does not accommodate the value, then we get the reading of over, saying that uh, it's over limit. Let's try the audio auto select here first. You'll notice that it takes longer for it to discover the appropriate range and as soon as the digits seem to settle on the most number of digits then you know that it's done. Here I have a D cell battery that I pulled out of a flashlight. There's the positive side and there's the negative side. And again, the advantage of auto ranging mode is that it finds the range itself, but the disadvantage is that it takes a little while for it to discover which range is appropriate. We also have some voltages available on the side of my deck. We have five volts between the digital ground and the five volt uh, pin right here. Let's go ahead and probe those. Make sure I'm getting good contact here. Also, I know it's five volts, so let me just pick the range right off. And that's a nice solid 5.00 volts. You also have plus and minus 15 volts over here. So I'll connect to the analog ground for the black DMM probe. Looks good.